in the next uh, set of configurations we'll be creating a new product as well as adding a no few nodes to product uh, hierarchy uh, this is an optional step if you are going to use the demo data you don't need to do that but in case you're going for a customer demo or you're new to commerce you uh, would definitely want to uh, follow along and continue with this exercise of creating new products and product hierarchy for commerce so let's go to the commerce headquarters and click on commerce uh, product hierarchy So this is the commerce product hierarchy for the, the demo data. You're going to click uh, edit category hierarchy. And here at the top level or the at the all level, I'm going to create a new category node and I'm going to call it camping and hiking. Uh, important call out here please ensure that you are adding friendly names uh, as well because if you don't uh, uh, on the e-commerce portal uh, friendly names are used and you would end up seeing new categories new category everywhere uh, if you forget to add so please do add friendly names so and below camping and hiking i'm going to create one node below it and I'm going to call it backpacking packs and I'm going to add a friendly name. Okay, so now I've added two nodes to the product hierarchy. Now I am ready to go and create the products. But before I go and create the products, I would also like to create something called size groups because we are going to be dealing with uh, variants. So I'm going to click on size groups. And here I'm going to create a size group called backpack. So I have already created it. So I'm not showing the steps here. It's pretty simple. Uh, create a new uh, line item on the left and then you can add the size group lines you can add small large medium give them a display order of one two three so small will be on the top then medium and then large would be shown in the drop downs and then you can define uh, some other parameters like how what's the number in the barcode going to be the library pledge instrument etc so i've already created a backpacks size group so in order to create a new store, a new uh, product, I'm going to click product by category. And if I click on camping and hiking, I am not seeing any products because he just created this uh, hierarchy a node and we have not added any products to it so we are going to create a new product and uh, add to this hierarchy so um, item product type should be item but in the subtype I'm going to create a product master because I'm going to be using variants in the retail category I'm going to be using back packing packs as the retail category and in the product dimension group, I'm going to use just the size. And in the product number, I'm going to add 75001. And for the name, I'm going to use um, ultra light super packer lens. And I'm going to click OK. So my new product master has been created. I still need to do a bunch of uh, different uh, additional setups and configurations. So the first thing I'll be doing is adding the dimension group. So storage dimension group, 
I'm going to have site warehouse location and the tracking dimension group is going to be none. So we're not going to track it by batch or serial number. Click OK. In the size group, I'm going to add backpacks. Click Save. Now we have added the size group. Uh, we should be able to get some variant suggestions now. So right now I'm in the variance page. I don't see any variants have been created. So I'm clicking on variant suggestion and it's asking me what sizes do I want to uh, create suggestions for. So I'm, I'm needing for both uh, for all three. So I've selected all three and then I'm going to click suggest. So now you can see that it has created small, medium and large for 75001 product and uh, with, the, uh, with the sizes that's uh, equivalent sizes. So I'm going to select all and I'm going to click create. Okay, now as you can see, uh, the variant suggestions have been successfully converted to the variants. Um, now the next step would be to release the product. So we have so far created a product master. It has not yet been released to the uh, legal entity. So the next activity is to release a product. So it knows which product has not been really released. We just created this uh, 75001 product. So I'm going to click next. Am I going to release all the variants? Select all, these are already selected. So um, click next. And now it is asking me which legal entities or the companies that uh, I want it to be released. So because uh, we are doing all the transactions in USRT, which is Contoso Retail USA company, which is the demo data company. So I'm going to release this product to USRT along with the variant. So it's showing me the details. All right. Now uh, the product has already been released along with the variants. So we are going to click released products by category. So this is now going to show me the products that are available in USRT. So now if I click camping and hiking, you can see that for release, uh, because I'm under release products uh, by category uh, form and here it's showing me uh, the product that I have just released. Here, I just need to add a few additional details in order uh, for the product to be ready for transactions. So I'm going to click edit. Edit and uh, we're going to add few details such as item model group. So item model group is basically the inventory valuation model. So I'm going to use moving average. In the purchase section, I'm going to add a purchase price and a purchase unit. Purchase unit is each. Okay, I don't think they have each, so maybe PCS. Okay. Okay, I need to remove convertible to all. And once I make it all, I should have each in here. Okay. 
and um, uh, I need to add a purchase price so I'm going to make it 120 for the price of one quantity and I'm going to do the same thing at the cell and I'm going to make the sales price, the base sales price as 380 per unit of one. Then I'm going to manage inventory. And here we are going to add the inventory unit as each and in the manage costs i'm going to assign item group which is gonna take care of all the item ledger postings so i'm just going to use the action sports i'm going to click save and validate so validate is just to ensure that all the bare minimum fields that are needed for transaction with this product have been filled in so all the field uh, once i click validate it says that all field values required for the validation are specified so we are good to go so this completes uh, my configurations for products and product, uh, product categories